everyone, I'm John Higgins, contributing writer to Film and TV Now, and we're here at the closing night of London Independent Film Festival 2020, here at the wonderful Genesis Cinema in Marland, and I am delighted to be speaking here with lead actress Veronica Jean Trickett and writer-director Warren Dudley, who are the um, team behind the wonderful social drama Six Years Gone, which won an audience award tonight. Congratulations to you both. So, um, so obviously, let's talk a little bit about the, um, you know, the journey. I mean, how long has it taken you to do this? And, um, you know, and, you know. I started with a kind of blank word document last January. So it's about 14 months in the making, I'd say. So yeah, so about, yeah, six months to write it. And then we started shooting. Yeah, so about just over a year. The whole process. Now, Veronica, I was in pieces watching this movie. I mean, it's, I mean, it, I mean, it must, it's, it's such a emotional ride, and you are, you're in virtually every scene, and the, the, the power of it's also because of the fact it's so simple. But your performance just literally hits every note. So, tell us a bit about your preparation for that. Was it, what were the challenges? What did you sort of um, find yourself doing to get, get into character? I mean, there's so many elements of it. Um, obviously, everyone has a technique when they are a performer anyway. And um, you draw from a lot of training. But um, as soon as you get to the point that it gets past an audition, it really is working with the team and making sure that what you have in your mind not just matches the vision of the director, but really is supposed to hit a note with an audience. Because first and foremost, what we are here to do is connect with an audience. So winning an audience award for us is, ama is an amazing feat. Um, but the script itself, I mean, it's, it's so gritty and heavy. I found it really hard to actually pick it up more than once because it, it cut to the core. Now, obviously, after that point, it's about working with the director and rehearsing and trying to get out what he wants and bringing my own thing to it as well. But again, I'm so fortunate to work with a team that really just understood the gravitas of the film um, and director like uh, Richard Osborne, who honestly, I've never worked with someone who had such a profound understanding of the intimacy of that story. And that is so important when you're in such a vulnerable state. And then makeup artists like Sean Duke, she was incredible, not just when she was prepping me, but also understanding that I needed that time to just get in the zone. But the whole team was there. And so yeah, my, the reason why I was able to hit the notes is because I was working with people that just had that compassion. Okay. So Warren, tell us a bit about your background in terms of, you know, obviously you come from other projects. So what other projects sort of shaped doing this project? Shape doing this one, hard to say. I mean, I kind of, this is a new thing for me. This kind of gritty drama is new for me. I've written, I wrote a film called The Bromley Boys, a football comedy uh, a couple of years ago, four or five years ago. I've written a couple of smaller budget indie sort of horror thrillers that we made. So this is new. Just again, I came from that really that I'd kind of flitted between comedy and horror. And I thought I just wanted to make something real. And I've got a 12 year old daughter. And so those fears were real fears in the script, that horrible feeling of when they go out for the first time and you let them go and it's still scary now. So it's, uh, it comes from that. It's all from my own experiences really. So let's talk a little bit about the screening here at the London Independent Film Festival. I mean, I wasn't there on, on the Tuesday when it was going, but what was the experience like for you at this screening? It was great. It's always a worry at a screening because you're always concerned you're going to lose the room with a tiny budget feature. And what was lovely, I sat at the back and there's always, you worry about mobile phones, you worry about chit chat, you worry about people getting to go to the, up to the loo over and over again. Didn't happen, did it? The room was silent throughout. And that was a huge positive because, you know, it's a concern with, a, with quite a, you know, a low buy film that you're going to lose the audience a little bit. And we didn't, didn't we? No. I think we kept them we kept them engrossed, I think. Yeah, I mean, it was, it, it always is daunting. And um, Warren wanted to send a link to me so that I could actually see the film beforehand. But I have a big suspicion about seeing it before a premiere night. So for me, it was it was actually quite stressful because I didn't know how it was going to come across. In the same context, I was like, am I, am I enough to engage the audience for an hour and a half? And, you know, 
um, have I given justice to this character's journey. Um, but not only is this a gorgeous cinema, are the people so welcoming and appreciative of independent film, but um, we're in a, a literal thriving moment just after the pandemic and it's so wonderful to see this many people having survived it and have brought something to cinema screens just after everything we've been through. So yeah, okay. it's been great. So we're going to just wrap it up now. I mean, my two final questions is what, what is the next thing on, what is next for you both? Uh, next for me, look, I tend to make a movie a year. Really, I kind of have an idea and then work it through to being finished. I'm toying with some new ideas, but look, the difficult thing, what I have to do, is I have to remain in this project for six months longer. It's always tempting as a writer director, this one's finished, just to go, okay, on to the next one, but of course, I've got you know a lot of work to do on this one yet. So, working on this whilst formulating the next feature film idea. I wish there were a few. <laughs> and yourself? Or um, well, I've also recently been in the first augmented reality um, movie, which is currently released in Sherwood Forest. Um, there's a lot of um, association there with 5G connected forest. That's a buzzword. So if you wanted to pop up to uh, Sherwood <laughs> Forest and put on a headset, you can see me play Maid Marian <laughs> with a few other actors and wander through um, Sherwood Forest. That's a really lovely production that I was very grateful to be part of. And from here on out, just getting back to my agent and saying, the reviews are amazing, <laughs> right, let's get more of this on the line. Um, and working with them, they're amazing agents and they've always got my back. So just going back to them and just saying how thrilled I am that it's been received so well. Okay. So final question is obviously, it was reflected in the Closing Night Awards from Natasha about how great it is to be back in a live setting. I mean, how does it feel, how great does it feel to be back here? Lovely, it's a little, what's great is that with film festivals, you never quite know what you're going to get. And this is a lovely one. It's kind of, you know, lots of creativity in the room. It makes me feel old, obviously. But it is, uh, you know, it's a fantastic uh, environment. I loved it. I really loved it. It's been yeah. Great. I mean, it's just a fantastic show of performance. And I don't just mean in the actual content. But as I said before, we're back. And look how many people are here. And look how much energy there is. Um, to be doing this, not just um, with the London Independent Film Festival, but with Genesis Cinema that have been like literally at the forefront of independent film for God knows how long. It's an absolute honour, and I'm just so privileged to be a part of it. I think we all feel that way. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, well, thank you so much, Natasha. And okay. um, well, Veronica, Warren, it's been a pleasure. As I say, the film is just phenomenal. It's, I mean, one of the best performances of the year I've seen. So six years gone, played as part of the London Independent Film Festival 2022. Um, if you're interested in tickets for next year's events, which will be the 20th edition, you can go to www.liff.org. And if you want to read more of my reviews, including my great review for Six Years Gone, you can go to www.filmandtvnow.com. So thank you very much for watching.